One of the things about the internet is it was really designed to be tremendously resilient, and it is, but it can often be congested. It wasn't allowed to grow in the way it needed to. And so companies that were part of that revolution, looking to expand their internet capacity, um, were struggling with that. Businesses today, as they're looking to leverage digital transformation, it used to be that they could serve a small set of their customers with a centralized IT architecture in order to deliver them the applications and the content they needed. And it was often just a small subset of their employee base. In today's really globalized digital economy, now they're often having to interact with their customers, their employees, their partners on a global basis. And those customers and employees and partners are accessing their technology assets every minute of every day. And they're finding that in order to get the performance they need or the end user experience that they need, they need a different approach than the public internet. And so they're relying on something that we call interconnection. Interconnection is a way to distribute your assets globally into highly connected cities around the world, whether that be Sao Paulo or Silicon Valley or DC or Singapore. Public internet is like a public highway system and interconnection is like a toll road that provides you with sort of uh, easier, faster, more efficient access to what you need. What's happening is there's a resurgence of subsea cables. These are cables that deliver internet bandwidth underneath the sea in order to connect the continents. And so while you're in a cruise ship uh, between New York City and London, underneath there is a high capacity cable that's making the digital economy possible. interconnection is growing at more than twice the rate of the public internet and more than 10 times the rate of other private networking solutions that have been traditionally used.